Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're back. One of the son's garage and we are building something kind of custom but really easy and simple at the same time that I think everybody can do at home if their bumpers set up correctly. So I'll leave a little video up here of the shovel rack we used to have on top of the roof racks. Now we did replace that one. Uh, it was going to be a little bit rusted and stuff like that. Um, and I didn't really like the shovel up on the roof. So I also wanted uh, a shovel rack on the roof that I could actually attach like the paddle for the paddleboard too. Now I can just unhook it, it doesn't have to sit in the car anyway. Um, and we never use the big shovel. We never use the big shovel kind of, kind of around the house. So the little shovel fold out one we used to use rusted out, it was completely buggered. So we went to Super Cheap Auto, we bought a brand new shovel for $12, but it was a little bit bigger than the fold out one, so it didn't really fit inside the car and it didn't really fit in the spare wheel bag. And I hate having dirty stuff inside the car, so it gets dirty, salty, sandy, and all that sort of stuff. So I want it in a spot where it can be dirty and I can kind of just chuck it down um, and don't have to worry about it being inside the car. There's not enough space in the spare wheel bag. So I kind of came up with this solution. I think it's kind of ingenious, but not really. So what we're running at the moment is the factory bumper um, metal bracket that sat behind the big plastic bumper that there used to be there. And we've removed the plastic part there. So we're just kind of left with an open area. And I always wanted to attach a shovel to the front of the Jeep, but it's actually illegal on Australia to do that because if you hit someone and they hit their head on the shovel, you can get they probably kill them to be fair. So I wanted something on the front of the Jeep, but not to protrude out to actually hurt someone. So the space right here is absolutely perfect to store your shovel, but need a little bit more support. So what we'll be doing, we're building a custom bracket uh, for that shovel, and it's an absolutely perfect spot for it. So let's go into the video. If you guys do like this, smash the like button. If you haven't already, smash it, scrape it as well. He's in the Jeep playing, he's getting a bit antsy, so let's get out and build this bracket. So we've got it all sanded back, masked off from the places we do need. What I used was like a 120 grit sandpaper to just score the surface so the paint's actually got something to stick to. So what we'll be using is Jeepy Color bed armor. We've used this for a range of different applications on the Jeep before. It holds up really well. It's really strong and it's really cheap. It's about $35, $35 a can. Um, it's a 467 big can, so it does last a while. Um, and I think this has got a great textured finish to it. It's a matte black finish, um, but it's a great, it's like a truck bed liner, so it's a really um, kind of like rubbery, kind of like a wrapped liner finish, but like a bed liner sort of thing. But I love the finish off it, and I think it's going to really look going to look really cool on the shovel and on the other accessories on the Jeep. So as always, you can get this from Super Cheap Auto, 35 bucks. It's really good um, and really easy to use, but the, the um, tips of them, clog up a bit so make sure you guys do have a towel on you to like kind of wipe them off
so the shovel came up absolutely mint with the Raptor liner. It's a nice textured finish, as you guys can see. It's going to be really nice and rough and kind of lasting for being either on the front of the Jeep and the applications we kind of want it for. So those cans, as I said before, about $35, $36 from Super Cheap Auto. I will leave a link down in the description if you guys want to check that out. But it's ready to come up good. We also did the bracket and wrap line as well. It's not quite dry yet, uh, but we'll attach everything back on. where it is. It tucks in there really nicely. I will get a different bolt for that to actually sit flush, but for the time being, that will do. So we got our shovel. Now this is the perfect size, as we said before. You fit between the two chassis rails of the Jeep. Then what I do is grab it, kind of tilt that end up, like so, and it slots into that bracket, like so. And it slots hard into that chassis rail there. Yeah. Has a little bit of a gap there. And it just sit, you just wedge it in there. It's not really wedged in there, it still moves around a little bit, but it's got that bracket there to kind of hold it in place. Now it was originally going to run something from that bolt across to um, stop it kind of bouncing up. But we've had this on for a week before we actually painted it and it didn't move at all. That was an on-road test. Um, now, doing off-road tests will be the issue that we'll probably come into if this actually bounces on or not. It does take a lot to actually pull it back and pull it up, and that's like kind of the only way to get it out. Because it will hit against the front grill, and also the handle will hit against the grill as well to stop it. And it's also wedged against the chassis as well. So a lot of people will be like, oh, you need to secure it properly, it probably bounce out, all that sort of stuff. It probably it might depending on how long we're actually on a gravel road for if we're on a gravel road for like hours it might bounce out but from the amount of time we're on which is a couple of hours at a go we should be right if we do need to run something from there we can either change our bracket out for something that's got a little hook on it something we can run like a little loop around there because the loop i was going to use doesn't work so i think this is going to work for now but i think it's a great spot to store your shovel because you can't see it at all it's nice and hidden, gives it like a little bit of a um, military style theme where it's kind of external on the bumper but not external that it might hurt someone. So that's pretty much it for today guys, if you like this video and you guys want to do this on your Jeep, I'd recommend it. I think it's a really cool idea to get your shovel in place so you can use it and utilise it all the time, put it back when it's dirty, put it back when you don't need it, but it's there all the time and it's really hidden. I love that about it, that it's hidden but it's in plain sight at the same time that sort of makes sense so that's it for today guys if you like this video smash that like button don't really have any links to any products so if you guys want to check out other videos we'll leave a few links up here if you guys want to check those out as well but to help me out massively if you can smash that like button and subscribe button i'd love to get the following count and subscriber count up and if you haven't followed me on instagram yet we do like little behind the scenes things um to kind of go over what we're doing and we do a full recap on the youtube video so follow me on instagram i'll leave that down in the description below you below if you aren't following us already as always guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next week